Ad adult food allergy can develop at any age, so it's very often foods they've eaten all their life. I think uh, a lot of people do uh, worry uh, about it because we're creatures of habit. We like to eat the same things. If you suddenly can't eat wheat, especially wheat, it's, it's difficult because you can't pick up your, you know, your bagel or your croissant in the morning. And Generally speaking, it, it helps them to go through what they would normally eat and that's what a dietitian should do, is, is tailor make the diet to that person. So if they pick up, if they, if they bring in a, a, a sandwich for lunch, you give them some alternatives about, about what, what else they could bring. Um, I think it's important that some people do find when they've cut a food out they don't think there's anything they can eat and it's about help, helping them to understand that there are alternatives out there. So I see many adults who get uh, problems with fruits and vegetables because of a pollen cross reaction uh, to pollens and they often think they can't eat any fruit so I usually tell them they're probably eating more fruit even uh, restricted as they are than most teenagers would um, and it's about just encouraging them to try different fruits, um, things they wouldn't have thought about trying before. Sometimes it's about them learning new skills about cooking and um, you know shopping and, and when they shop to obviously look for foods that they can buy. I, I would say a lot of the time um, unfortunately people don't have access to uh, allergy specialist dietitians. Um, it, it, I, I work in the UK where um, it's probably slightly different to the US but one thing we're very keen to do is to develop the expertise of dietitians here and actually to promote the fact that um, dietitians can provide um, that personalised dietary input that uh, an allergist is very skilled at diagnosing allergy but uh, a dietitian can help that person uh, in their daily life and I think uh, so normally yes I would say uh, it's very important to go to your family doctor first because you could be having symptoms that are nothing to do with a food allergy uh, and it's important to get those checked out um, obviously if your family doctor thinks they it sounds like an allergy then they can refer you to an allergist who can do some tests the tests for food allergy are very uh, we have very good tests for food allergy. They're very good at excluding food allergy. Um, and uh, then yes, if, if it's not a food allergy, then obviously you need to find someone who can provide that dietary um, uh, support to find out what it could be. Well, I think a general physician needs to know and understand the, the symptoms of a of a, of a primary allergy, so an allergy uh, that could have the potential to cause a severe allergic reaction. Um, and, and they also need to um, understand, um, therefore, the symptoms that are in indicative of a food problem that's not due to an allergy. Because uh, obviously if you don't suspect an allergy, then you, your next route of call, if the patient has a gastrointestinal symptoms, which is often the cause, then a gastroenterologist would probably be uh, a more appropriate route of referral. There are some allergists who work with gastroenterologists, some allergists who have good gastroenterology knowledge. So it's really going to depend on your local area as to, as to who, who, there, who, who there is that can do that. It's our international network. Uh, which is uh, called INDANA, which is an international network of diet and nutrition in allergy and it was set up by dietitians but it's actually for anyone working in the field and, and what we're doing particularly in the US is trying to um, develop the role of the dietitian, promote the role of a dietitian and educate dietitians on food allergy so that more families with food allergic children and more adults with food allergic disease can have the benefit of, of support from them. The role of a dietitian is very different around the world and, and a lot of that is because of the education systems in different countries. 
um, and um, the level to which a dietitian is, is educated. But I also think there are some countries where allergists are very uh, much more um, widely available and trained than they are in other countries. So uh, the role of a dietitian will be different, but uh, what a dietitian has got is that unique knowledge of nutrition and, and diet and, and the, an individual approach which is perfect m match for an allergy uh, problem.